Okay, so in this video, I want to go through defining your purpose. It's, it's easy to get into a property strategy. It's easy to start a new program. It's easy to get enthusiastic about something new. But if, you're, if you don't have a purpose wrapped around something, you'll not sustain um, the long journey. You'll, you'll not commit to it. You will not stay the course of the journey and you'll not get the results. So it's really important that this isn't just dismissed. This whole mindset section of the program for me is probably more important than understanding strategies, understanding where to find deals, because if you cannot keep your mind focused, if you cannot keep pushing daily, then you'll not get the results that you want you know, the results that we spoke about on our um, calls, on our introduction calls, the, you know, on, on Messenger, wherever we met, whenever we chatted, your goals, your visions, what you want from, from doing this, all has to be wrapped around the purpose. So on your success plan, obviously there is a, a, a starting section about your purpose. So what I want you to do is, is just really write down what is the purpose of your business, you know? What is the purpose of your business? What's the main role of the business? What's the purpose of the business? Why are you doing this? And go deep, you know, really open up and, and tell yourself why you're doing this. Um, you know, and what, what I want to do is then take this into um, your personal side of things. So the, in this personal deep dive, okay? So four years ago, approximately, I was sat on a couch feeling sorry for myself, burnt out, working 70, 80 hours a week, just silly, couldn't be asked to take my son to a birthday party, I think it was two at the time, and I was scrolling through Facebook mindlessly while watching the football on TV, family were out, and I came across a video which asked these two very important questions. Something drastic happens and within 24 hours you're on your deathbed, what are the three biggest things that you regret not doing? And that really got me thinking, you know, and it was not spending enough time with my son, um, you know, being a poor dad, having no time for anybody else, being selfish, you know, all that sort of stuff. At your funeral, people are talking about you. What do you think they will say? You know, and start thinking about those questions, the answers to those questions. And for me, these two questions changed everything. It led me into a program a personal development program, which made me think differently, act differently, run my life differently. And really without those two questions being answered, without that video dropping into my Facebook feed that day, I'm not entirely sure we'd be speaking right now, or I would be coaching you, or I would have the business that I've got today. So this is all about digging into yourself and understanding why you want to do this. Because if you don't put a true purpose around it, this will become nothing more than a fad. You'll have been there before, you've tried something for a few weeks, it was great, it was exciting, you got into it and then it died off because you stopped doing the work and you weren't getting the results. This will be no different if you don't attach a purpose around it. I can pull you as much as I can to be accountable to your results and to your actions, but ultimately you've got to want to do this as well. You know, there's only so much pulling I can do. You've got to want to do this and you've got to want to do it daily. By attaching my purpose around my business, I've been able to get up at 5 a.m. pretty much every morning for the last four years. That time between five and eight o'clock has allowed me to do various things, but move the needle forward is, is the main focus that day, personally and in terms of a business. I could not get up at five o'clock every morning, including Saturdays and Sundays, by the way if I didn't have a true purpose or wrapped around why I am doing all this. So, you know, go through these questions. Um, you know, will anyone apart from your friends and family remember you? Does it bother you that you didn't put a stamp on the world and can't be remembered? You know, why is it important that you succeed right now? Dig deep, you know, what difference will it make to your life? Why does that matter? If you fail, what will happen? You know, you go through this and really push it through. I mean, this why question here, Ask it seven times, you know, ask it seven times. Just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into the layers of why, why, why. And you'll start to realize it's not about money. I guarantee most people's first answer is I want to be financially free. I want all the money I can have so I can do X, Y, and Z, go on nice holidays, all that. That is not the true purpose of your life. 
money is not the true purpose of anybody's life okay and you need to dig deeper and figure it all out money is just a vehicle that allows us to do various other things and achieve our purpose so i want you to go through this i want you to really dig deep into it and by the end of it i want you to have a purpose and i want to i want to know what your purpose is um, i want you to share what your purpose is and i want you to go into the group and i want you to shoot a video a live video and just saying, you know, you've, you've done your success plan and you've figured out the purpose of doing this 90 day program is to X. And I want you to express what it's for. I want you to, you know, really get out there. You know, remember the group is a secure place. It's where we all work together. We're all fighting for the same thing. So go into the group. And once you've done that, you've completed this section and you can move on to the next section. I hope it helps. And I really, really, really hope you do this because it will. It'll change the results. Guarantee it'll change the results.